Hello, this video is about bringing Daz Genesis characters over into Blender for creating Morse. Now, I know that there's quite a few videos out there on this topic already, but um, this may uh, have some extra information that's not covered in those. So we begin by, you know, go ahead and stripping down your Genesis character, getting rid of all of the eyelashes, the tears, making sure all the morphs, including the mouth morph, is zeroed out and that you set the resolution to base, not high res. Then exporting as an OBJ. Now, in your export settings, make sure that they're checked like this and that you've got your right groups and surfaces checked and that your size is at 100%. Go ahead and open up Blender. Now, the version of Blender that I'm using here, 2.93. We'll go ahead and import our object. Now, when we do, we want to make sure that we keep vert, order, and polygroups. Let's go ahead and line this up. We're going to do a morph on the face. I'm going to select the object. I'm going to go to edit mode. Take a look at the mesh. Now I don't have any verts selected. Okay, so look at it in the different views, the color, the x-ray, and the smooth. Now I'm gonna select vert groups, and I'm gonna select the eyes. Now it's really important if you're gonna be doing morphs on the face that you do this with the eyes, otherwise you're gonna get really distorted eyes. So yeah, if I <clears throat> say go into sculpt mode here and I don't hide the eyes and I start doing morphs, do you see what's going on with the eyes, how they're getting distorted? And this includes the mouth. The mouth is usually not as big of a deal as the eyes are. <clears throat> But um, <clears throat> when you're sculpting in Blender on the uh, Genesis character like that, and you're usually doing it in uh, smooth, not in this uh, wired view, with the eye selected now in edit mode, we're going to go to mesh and hide selected. Now it's smoothed view. See that the eyes are not there. And you can see that we could select and hide any of these groups. We can also do that underneath materials. Now, uh, this is really nice because it gives you two different options. Now, if you did it in materials, the um, to hide the eyes, then you're going to have to select uh, the irises, the pupils, the cornea, and all of that. <clears throat> but here you can also select features like, say, the ears or the teeth. So by exporting from DAS with groups and services, then it gives us both of these options for via uh, vertex groups and via materials for hiding uh, different parts that we uh, don't want to influence when we're sculpting. All right, so let's get to sculpting. Let's see here. I'm going to do something really radical. Now, here I've put symmetry on, 
So when I affect one side, it's affecting the other side equally. We uh, use the symmetry X. Now, here, if I click on one of these up here in the, uh, on, on this little gizmo here, then I get a straight on side or front or rear view. <clears throat> Now, one thing to keep in mind that when you're editing in this view, that the camera that you're looking through, the focal length makes a huge difference of how you're actually seeing the figure. Here, I've changed it to 90 millimeter, or it might be something extreme, 24 millimeter. So the, uh, the smaller the focal length, the more, um, um, distorted it's going to it's going to become the more um, uh, uh, and, and the higher that I set it the flatter it's going to become so the higher it is then things in the background become closer and the smaller than the things in the background like fade away like disappearing into a tunnel now if you're looking straight on if you use this gizmo then it's using a flat sort of an uh, a, a flat view <clears throat> that that's not really reliant upon the focal length say that you're examining that you're trying to like reproduce something from like a photograph well if that photo that you're looking at was taken with a camera that has a uh, focal length of uh, say 80 and you're in blender here trying to create your morphs and using the default 50 uh, millimeter focal length then what you're seeing in your the perspective of your dad's character in comparison to that photograph is wrong and so everything that you do to it's going to just be totally off all right here we're going to just make something just really silly you know and we're just going to something super super extreme <clears throat> Just to, uh, you can see how the uh, area of, around the eyes is just really, really distorted now. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into edit mode and click on mesh and uh, put the eyes and then back. Now you see how the eyes are not where they, well, they're they're where they originally were when we started, but now the face where they need to be is completely different. So. I'm going to go back into vertex groups and I'm going to select them with symmetry still on. Now I'm going to readjust them. And since the bottom part of the uh, where the eye fits is a kind of skewed it's not gonna fit in here really snug is it well we'll try okay Okay, let's go ahead and export this. We're going to export as an obey uh, as an object OBJ. Now, this is really important. Make sure that your selected only is selected, and keep a vertex order at the bottom is selected. Otherwise, when you bring it into DAS, it will not import correctly. Okay, we've saved that. Let's switch back to DAS. Now I'm going to go to my uh, Morph Loader Pro. It may be, in, you can get to it via through figures or edit object. And here's the name of it. 
We're going to make sure that all these stay the same, that the uh, scale is 100%. Now, there's some options in here that one might look at, like if you've made a morph, wasn't happy with it, and want to re you know, tweak it in Blender, bring it back in, replace it, then uh, you can change uh, these to, uh, uh, to bring it back in and overwrite the other one. And everything is good, then you should be able to then in parameters, uh, type in the name of the uh, morph file and you'll see it now as a slider. And so if we go ahead and slide it, there it is. It's applying the morph and most importantly, do the eyes and expression work. So the other thing you need to do whenever you've uh, imported uh, and applied your morph is to go into your uh, tool settings and joint editor right click on the back uh, of the screen somewhere and um, select edit and adjust rigging to shape. Now you see how all of the points for the rigging realigned with the new face morph. You know, and it's a good idea, even if you're using a um, um, a uh, commercial product of, of a character morph, to go ahead and check that. Make sure that the, uh, that the rigging is right. I found that some of them do not have rigging applied correctly. A lot of times, you know, it's it, we assume it's just a given, but it, it's not. And so here we go. Uh, the expressions seem to be working okay. Let's see what it looks like color wise. Crazy. Now let's let's check out the eyes. Make sure that the eyes work properly. Looking left and right. Pretty good. Would not like to meet this person uh, in a dark alley, that's for sure. Crazy. Okay, yeah. And uh, there we have it. Um, you know, just a really quick uh, tutorial going over what probably a lot of people already know, but hopefully there was something in here, especially with the uh, uh, dealing with the eyes and the vertex and the material groups and, and the rigging uh, afterwards. Uh, that uh, that's uh, somebody uh, uh, can find useful so let's keep on doing our dad stuff and have a great day like like this dude he's having a great day all right later